What's up, water signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, hit that description box down below. Check out my website. LaRellsMoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, without further ado, for all of my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, let's see what's going down for my water signs. Here we go. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my water gods. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what's going down for the weekends. I'm going to get the loving energy and also those that are single. And while you're here, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Okay, for your girl. Um, and for my Pisces, make sure you check out Love Pisces, my new channel that I made for you all. Pisces. That's why, if you haven't noticed, there is nothing about Pisces until right now. So, <laughs> make sure you check that out. It is in the community post. And if you need to get the four questions for $25, it's down in the description box down below via video only for the weekend. So, let's go ahead and jump into this shit. Pisces, I am going to use the after tarot for you. So, here we go, Pisces. What do you have to tell them spirit pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you oh shit we ain't get this in the other reading but there could be somebody who's sneaky around your motherfucking ass you also got a past life relationship so for yourself it's time to take back control of your life so for some of you guys you might be letting yourself go from someone who was very toxic Okay, or held your back. Y'all already know what it is, Pisces. Let's see what's up. Pisces. Give it to me for my Pisces. Oh, what's that? Four swords, eight of wands here. So somebody's fighting a feeling for you. They fighting the urge for you, Pisces. For those of you all that are in love, I do feel Virgo and Taurus Capricorn is here. I'm also seeing Six of Wands and High Priestess. So there's something taking place that could be happening online that might be revealed. I'm also seeing Page of Pentacles as well. So there could be some offers coming towards you, Pisces, with a Virgo and Taurus Capricorn or Cancetian or another Pisces with this moon energy here. Okay. Um, but I do see, uh, yep, yeah, somebody working together. Okay. That could be why there's some truth that's coming out or somebody that's willing to put in some appreciation for the situation. Ten of Pentacle energy here. So somebody, uh, I feel they're definitely thinking about, like I said, either their independence or this could be um, somebody that you've invested in or it could be some sort of investment. But with the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel you're definitely taking care of a lot of family situations, okay? So for my singles, uh, I have the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles here. So some of you guys are getting to work. You also have the tower energy here as well, Pisces. So for some of you guys, there's definitely a breakthrough. It could be with a Virgo one, a Gemini, or also an Aries, okay? But I'm picking up some of you guys definitely have finances coming your way with this Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, okay? There's definitely something changing in the mix, but you got finances coming your way or somebody that's wanting to manifest with you, or there could be somebody who's trying to reach out with this Eight of Wands here, okay? So... Single Pisces, y'all got it going on, but let's see what's up with my Cancerians. I'm going to get the Golden Girls Tarot for you guys. Cancerians, for the weekend. I had to do this video like three times, y'all. YouTube would not just press the video through. The video's through. Cancerians is saying, give your relationship a chance. So somebody needs to work on their partnership. I'm going to pick one from the middle of the deck. You also chemistry and honeymoon. Honeymoon. 
Honeymoon <laughs> and romantic feelings. Okay, so somebody's got some romantic feelings for you, can't set in. Oh, I was parched. I needed the water, I can't set in. Okay. But I'm seeing that for some of you guys, you definitely have somebody that wants to reach out to you or you could be needing to reach out to them. Okay, this might be your chance to work on that partnership. Can't set in. But I'm also saying you're going to have to make a decision very, very soon. Okay, that is what spirit is telling me, honey. Let's see what's going down for those that are in love, can't set in. Like I said, I'm going to get the Golden Girls Tarot for the weekend energy. I already see another Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy that's around. Also could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Let's see what's up. Cancerians. Here we go. We have the Queen of Swords here. Six of Wands. So on your person's side, I feel somebody's either cut something off or they're in their feelings with this Five of Cups and they're trying to make something back up to you. But with the Six of Wands, I feel like somebody is wanting some sort of appreciation or they're wanting to feel appreciated. Okay, Queen of Wands here. There could be a few people in the mix with all of these uh, wands, with all of these queens here. Okay, but I do feel like with the Two of Pentacle energy, can't setting, there's somebody trying to outweigh their options. Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo and, and I also see with the Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles, somebody is trying to offer you some love, baby. Four of Wands and Ace of Cups here. Shit. It just might be a struggle trying to, you know, make the situation work or make the situation a little bit more smoother because this Knight of Swords is coming rushing in like a motherfucker. The trees is leaning in everything. Okay. <laughs> somebody has got an upheaval. Uh, upheaval happening okay but a lot of you guys definitely have love coming up for sure so single can settings you got the chariot the hangman some y'all might be driving by yourself enjoying the music okay letting the windows down okay some of y'all might be letting the uh music play but i feel with this chariot energy here you're feeling in your element baby some of you guys definitely with this nine of cups you might feel like there's a dissatisfaction or you're not you just feel very insoluble. But for some of you guys, I feel like um, with this high priestess here, you know that there's something to come. Okay, six of cups, six of pentacles, and seven of swords. So a lot of you guys have some truths or somebody's truth is definitely coming towards you. Can't set in. Okay, and now ten of pentacle energy here. I do see a lot of money or a lot of things that are cycling to you. Can't set in. So get your ass motherfucking ready. I'm glad y'all didn't get the devil because everybody was either getting the devil or the ten of pentacles. And y'all got the ten of pentacles. Can't say it. <laughs> Scorpio babies. Let's see what's up for the weekend. Here we go. Scorpios. Uh, we got healing family issues already coming out. Honeymoon and you deserve love. Okay. Some of y'all might be thinking about a soulmate energy. Scorpios or just having those romantic feelings all together. But right behind that is give your relationship a chance. So somebody could be healing themselves. Okay. But let's officially get some cards for my Scorpios for the weekend. We got separation here. Okay, well, damn. And we have past life relationship and pay attention to the red flags. Because very soon, some of you guys are going to have to make some real ass decisions, baby. Let's see what's going down. Scorpios. Here we go. Scorpios, my stingers. Oh, we already got shit falling out. All right, Queen of Wands here, Ten of Wands. Definitely some sort of struggle, or there could be an ending that's happening. Or somebody's closing somebody off. Now, I don't know if this is for some of you guys that are in love, but this might be, baby. I don't know, baby. But like I told y'all, y'all was going to see uh, where somebody was a headache. Okay, or somebody was a snake, or showing your spidey senses was going all the way off. Something was alarming your ass. Let's see what's up, Scorpios, baby. It's something alarming you about a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, some of you guys that are in relationships, I feel this Five of Wands, High Priestess, a lot of riff rap, a lot of bullshit that's going on in between a Piscean energy. Okay, but I also feel like uh, there could be some uh, somebody who's focused on their money with this queen of pentacles here. So for you and your person, there could be a lot of changes that are happening. Ten of swords here. 
I feel some of you guys need to take a break from this situation. Or there could be a break happening between you and your partner. But with this hair of font, Knight of Cups here, and also Four of Pentacles, it's time to end a situation or somebody needs to take care of um, their soul. Somebody's soul hurting here. Moon energy in reverse. Also Nine of Cups. So I feel at the end of the day, some of you Scorpios might see the truth, but you're going to be finding happiness, okay? Somewhere letting go, baby. Let it go, Elsa. For some of y'all that are in love, you definitely might feel, uh, you know, cross-minded or confused. All right, but I do see you seeing that love very soon. That light, that silver light at the end of the tunnel. Let's see what's popping in this motherfucker. To my motherfucking single Scorpios. Ow. I'm trying to find me a little single Scorpio thing. Okay. <laughs> Even though some of them, I've met some, I don't know, I met some crazy ass Scorpio men. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I am not going to lie. It may be because it's Gemini in my chart, but honey, I have found some crazy ass motherfucking Scorpios. Okay, either they are like sexually addicted, okay, or the mother got some mommy issues. And I don't, uh, it, it was depending on their natal chart now, okay. This motherfucker had Scorpio moon. Uh, 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 uh. These motherfuckers be having Libra Scorpio, Scorpio Libra, Sagittarius Scorpio. I'm like, ooh! <laughs> Let's see what's popping in this mother sucker. Single Scorpios, you got the chariot energy here. So there could be a Cancerian influencing the situation. Or some of you guys might feel like things are out of control. Okay, some of you guys need to definitely be careful with driving as well too. But I do feel with this King of Cups and also with this uh, Six of Wands, you got a lot of success around you. Okay, but I do feel like somebody wants to um, enter into your world. You got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this page of swords also this magician so definitely be aware of people that are uh people that you could be hanging out with okay or somebody that might be manipulating the situation gemini virgo and Aries here you also got the tower so definitely could be some changes that's popping for you scorpio single scorpios this is something you already know about dog all right here we go overall energies for all of my water signs. I can't believe I had to do this video like 15,000 times. But we here, baby. I know this one going to push through. Here we go. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Overall energies for the weekend. Nostalgia. Focus on the here and now. So don't stay in the past. Some of y'all might be looking at your future right at you. And you up in the clouds. Worried about the old shit. Now you got stars. You can manifest your every wish. And library. Take control of your own narrative. So some of you guys. Stop sharing all that information with others. And some of you guys need to get some information out to others. And maybe they might help you be a little bit more explorative. But I feel like you need to take your own narrative back. For some of y'all. Okay. If some of y'all feel like you need to release yourself away from a situation. It's trying to cut them cords. Babe. All right. All right. Y'all. I'm about to get on out of here. I love you guys all oh so much. I hope that this information helped. And I will see you guys in the next video. And make sure you check out my four questions for $25 down in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.